friends, we are coming live from where I make my magic with my clients. Um, I just did an amazing Instagram live, which I'm it's going to be up, and I will link the um, link to that video below. And I would really recommend for you all to go watch that. But as it is a new year, I have made an intention to myself and to you guys, because I'm now saying it here, and I said it on my Instagram to really hold me accountable, is that I'm going to make a new nugget video every single Thursday. It's going to be a short little thing for you guys to listen to a different topic every week. So make sure that you send me your questions, queries, things you want me to like GIF on, and I will GIF on them. But what I thought I would firstly talk about is someone brought this up to me the other day. We were talking about New Year's resolutions, what you want to bring in for the new year, like what you're manifesting, you know? Fuck, there's someone like blowing their laundry outside and it's really fucking loud. Okay, so we're talking, not their laundry, oh my god, they're blowing their grass or like the leaves, whatever. Um, you can clearly, I am not very um, well knowledgeable in the area of gardening. Okay. So, or plant maintenance. My plants are like very dead back there. So, what I wanted to say was, what came up a conversation is, I don't want to, this is what somebody said to me, I do not want to um, put a time limit on my manifestations because what if they don't come true? And I said, so what, who the fuck's holding me? I think they can just shut right up. What if it doesn't come true? And I said, what if it doesn't come true? Like, it's not about, you're making a wish. Like, you have to take inspired action for it to come, for it to happen, for it to manifest. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, what if I write stuff down that it doesn't happen? Like, I'm afraid that I'm going to write it down and then I'm going to be really disappointed when it doesn't happen or I'm going to be, like, so stressed out to make it happen. And I said, this is where you have to trust, right? This is where the process of you actually... Um, really putting into practice trusting in the universe comes in like i'll write down manifestations all the time and okay they might they might not you know actually happen that month and i'm not going to push to make something happen that i don't feel right in my that it doesn't feel a hundred percent like yes now is the time but the point is that you when you write your manifestations down, you don't, that's not the be all and end all. You're allowed to change them, you know? Like, you can write down your, like, I have all these resolutions that I wrote down um, end of 2017 for 2018. Majority of them I didn't do, but the thing is, it doesn't matter because it actually changed me over the year. The year, over the year, certain things weren't as high value. I didn't really care about achieving them. I didn't really want to. I scrapped that part of my business. Like, so many different things. So, it doesn't actually matter. Like what matters is that you trust the process and you allow yourself to change and evolve and develop and and um, and fix things where they need fixing. And if you've manifested like, you know, I'm going to meet my husband by, you know, January of 2019 and it doesn't happen, well, don't have a hissy fit over it because that's not going to help the situation either. This is where you need to trust that it doesn't mean that it's never going to happen. It means that it wasn't quite the right time yet and that it wasn't it wasn't ready to come to fruition or you weren't ready and you have to trust that that's for the better good because what if he did come to you right now and then you pushed him away because you hadn't been fully embodied and fully ready right you got to trust the bigger picture that the reason why it hasn't come yet was because not because it's never going to come but because it wasn't yet the right time and you need to imp like bring something else in before x y and z can happen so that's sort of like the answer to what if my manifestations do not come true or how do I prevent myself from being really disappointed if my manifestations don't come true this is where you really need to practice the art of trusting in the universe and trusting yourself right and I just couldn't imagine a life without trust in the universe because you'd be constantly beating yourself up about everything like fuck that shit um second thing also is that don't just go manifestation and then sit back and watch Gossip Girl all day. That's also not going to help the situation. You need to be taking inspired action. So do not confuse you manifesting and sitting watching Gossip Girl and eating 100% raw cacao all day as you waiting for things to just fall into your lap. That's not the point. I really encourage my clients, manifest, of course, put the intention, you're putting the energy out there, but you can't manifest it if you're not vibrating at that frequency. So you actually need to take ins take inspired action and don't just be like, why isn't it not working? Why isn't it not working? If you're taking inspired action, one, it's going to come more. But also, if you take inspired action and it doesn't come, it just helps you reiterate, 
okay, it's not the right time because you have actually taken inspired action. You were actually, you know, vibrating at the frequency to attract that. And because it hasn't been attracted, clearly it wasn't the right time. So that's sort of the other thing to really consider in that sort of um, dynamic of manifestation.